Hi, this is Rada with the Florida State University School of Theater, and welcome to our ShopBot series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to create a new file with you and just show you uh, my setup procedure. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so when you first open the program, uh, this is the screen that you come to. Up in the top left, you want to click on Create a New File, uh, and this will bring up uh, usually the previous settings that you had it that you had it on, uh, which we have a four foot by eight foot table. Uh, Shopbot table in our uh, in our shop, and so uh, we, it's most of the time set for 96 by 48 inches. Uh, note that your width, your x dimension, is typically the longer of the two. Uh, this can get a little bit more confusing if you have a four foot by four foot or 48 inch by 48 inch table. Um, take note that these are in you know that these dimensions are in inches, uh, and that pretty much goes throughout the entire uh, the entire program. Uh, so don't be trying to put in four foot by eight foot. Well, otherwise, you're going to end up with a four foot, uh, four inch by eight inch section. Uh, and I've seen people try to do that before. It does not work. Uh, so make sure you're doing 96 by 48. Um, thickness, uh, we're going to go with the three quarters inch. A lot of times we're cutting out three quarter material. Uh, some, you know, if it's uh, Little one or something, we will usually run it at quarter inch. Uh, but you are welcome to use the actual dimensions because uh, you know three quarter ply isn't usually actually three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, just to the left of that, we have our uh, z axis where we're going to zero that to. Uh, our shop standard is to use is to uh, zero that to the table. Uh, this is for a, a couple reasons. The most important one is really that when we set our depth to zero, we know that it's going to go to the table surface and not slightly through it. Whereas, like I said, our you know our material is set for three quarters of an inch. Um, if we were to, but our material thickness is actually just a hair over a uh, hair under that. So if we were to set it to the table surface and then cut three quarters of an inch down, we're actually cutting into our table a little bit. Um, you know, there are times where you are where you really do want to use the top surface, uh, and that's because that would be if you're uh, using uh, engraving or doing some sort of pocket stuff where you're not going all the way through the material, and it's critical what that uh, dimension through the surface is. is. Uh, but for the most part, if you're cutting through, I would recommend uh, zeroing to the table surface as opposed to the material surface. Uh, just below that, we have our X Y datum position. Uh, our shop bot. Uh, will zero automatically with the proc switches to the bottom left corner and so that's where we keep our home position. Uh, a lot of times I will use the center of a, a piece of material uh, to be my home position uh, if, if it just seems that it's going to work out better that way. Uh, most of the time it doesn't work out as well to use uh, to use these guys. Um, it, it just makes more sense because we can use our proc switches for this corner. but. They are here. They are available if you want to use them. Uh, using an offset can actually be very helpful, but it's a little bit confusing for people. Uh, think, don't think of it as you're changing your home position necessarily, or I guess you are changing your home position, but not your origin. So let's say that we have a 12 inch by 12 inch block that we are already using down here, um, or uh, we have a full four by eight sheet, but somebody decided to cut a 12 inch by 12 inch notch out of this corner. So we need to start. 12 inches over from our on, along our x-axis. So we can use our offset tool here and do 12 inches. And you see our origin point doesn't move, but our home position has now moved 12 inches along our x-axis. Uh, now keep in mind, this does uh, change what our, uh, our full possible width is here. Uh, so this is actually a really nifty trick um, in almost all of the boxes in vCarve Pro. You can actually do uh, do math. So we can do 96 minus 12. The kicker is that you have to hit equals. If you don't hit equals, if you just hit enter, it will do something different. So you have to hit equals and it will change that dimension for you, uh, which this is very handy if you're doing uh, subtraction for long decimals and stuff like that. Um, so, and so that's changed our position now. And um, if you're if you're not going to use an offset, I highly recommend that you go ahead and put these to zero and uncheck it just to make sure you know, that nothing is going to happen. Um, last thing, you can change your units uh, to uh, millimeters if you so choose. This has actually been really helpful for people who do a lot of 3D printing. They're more familiar with millimeters, or if you're using like doing electronics. So with the HandyBot and the desktop. 
uh, models, uh, they are actually precise enough that you can cut uh, circuit boards. Uh, and for that, most of the time, you'll be wanting to use millimeters. Um, so that's pretty much the basic setup. When you're uh, when you have everything set up the way you want it, we'll go ahead and put that back to 96. Then click OK, and you are good to begin. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody who it might be helpful for. Uh, and check out our other videos. Thank you very much.